Hi, in this video of C language, we will cover data types. Basically, to make any programming language type safe, we require a data type which will tell the type of incoming data. So, basically in .NET framework, we have four predefined data types that is integer, float, char and double. So, here, first of all, we will discuss what are the data types. So, as I said, uh, it will tell the type of incoming value like if I am going to define a identifier that is either variable or a constant so we will have to specify a type similarly by the time any method is returning a value we are going to tell like which kind of value it is returning similarly when you are passing a parameter in a method call you will again have to specify which type of value you are expecting so whenever there is a talk of data, we will use a data type to tell the type of that part. So as I said, like basically we have uh, two data types. One is for the integer values, means non-decimal numbers. Other one are the floating numbers, means a number with a decimal value. Void is a data type which is used as a return type of a method. You will not define any variable of void type but whenever you are defining a method which is not returning anything to any other method then we will use this void data type similarly we do have something called enums enums is basically here to give a numerical equivalent to any character value for example if i want to fix like if i'm asking any user a particular day of joining or any particular thing so I want only some particular set of strings can be chosen. So what I can do, I can create an enum and will give a numerical equivalent to every day which we have in a month. Apart from that, we do have some derived data types also like arrays, pointers, structures, union and functions. So basically pointers will be here for storing the address of the variable, we will discuss about them. Array means when you want to store the similar values in a large scale, means you want to make a collection of such values, you can go for the arrays. Similarly structures, unions are some customized data types which we will discuss in our coming videos. So let's quickly see practically how can we define the variables of various data types. So inside this main method, if I want to define any variable of a specific data type, what can I do is, I can simply use the name of the data type. For example, here I have used int and after that, I can just give the name of the identifier through which I can use it further in this program. For example, if I want to define a variable of integer type and with the name var, here I used int where and after that I can terminate it with a semicolon. So using semicolon you can terminate any particular statement. Along with that if you want to initialize it with any particular value you can also assign any integer value as integer will store only a non-decimal number. So here I'll make sure that I'm not passing any decimal numbers. But if there is a double or float type of variable so in that way I can also pass any decimal value like this and similarly if it is a character I will use the char so where c is equal to and for character I will always use a single quotation inside which I will put a character whether that could be a special character or a normal character so like this I can define the variables of various data type and if required I will also initialize them in line 